YouTubers! Welcome to another Tuesday Gear Review Unboxing Day. Today I got a little unboxing to do. See, uh, I'm heading down to my buddy's studio. Napoleon. Name drop again. Uh, last video I was on here, we were talking about how I was going to pack up my ox. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I'll talk to my buddy Napoleon since he's kind of more my tech guy and see if he can't put that link down below here um, in the uh, picture, not in the description. But I'll also um, leave links below for this as well. What we have here is the guitar maintenance table compact travel style. I saw this, been eyeing it for a while, and uh, haven't had a reason to get one just yet. I do all my work and set up right here at, at, the, at the studio anyway, so, um, but we're gonna be on the road. Um, and I need to be able to uh, do a couple of neck resets, I think on some Fender guitars for him, he asked, and um, quite a lot of, uh, just basic tune-ups. I need to get the strings just I think he's bought a few guitars since I've seen him last and he needs those set up So I was hoping uh, instead of working on flat tables and things sliding around like I used to do when I would go down there and work and set up guitars for him is uh, to be able to actually have something that cradles it um, In reading the description it talks about how the or I'm sorry the uh, the reviews uh, Somebody had mentioned that the acoustic guitar has to sit on an angle in there, but it's actually okay It's kind of easier to work on that way, but uh, in any case, let's get started and see what's uh, what we got going on This is <laughs> I've never seen one so I ordered it offline. I don't even have a clue of what this thing is gonna be like So let's get a knife here All right, this is made by Grundorf, and it's also uh, made in the USA, which was uh, quite surprising. Um, so far, this looks pretty, uh, pretty neat. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated it being, but uh, hey, as long as it works, right? And uh, so it looks like we have, I like the nameplate, it's carpeted. It's got plastic corner protectors, which is nice. There's our hinge that's supposed to fold up and there's our locking latch. You can put a padlock on there as well. Um, yeah, this is the uh, GMT-003B, order number S6567, made by Grundorf, www.grundorf.com. Uh, again, I'll leave links down below where I bought it. Um, nice handle on there. All right. Let's see if this is going to be able to work with uh, some guitar setup. Looks like you're probably going to want to go this way with it. Oh, this is nice. I like that. The latch for the actual container that opens up uh, uses the same latch that holds this up. That's nice. So that's locked in place. I'm going to go grab an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar and let's see what uh, what this will look like when we put that in there. All right, for starters, we have a uh, Telecaster. So naturally it'll sit right in here like this. And it looks like that's gonna cradle it okay. We'll be able to, uh... well, I kinda like that. So this these corners right here, if done right, you can set the bottom of the body right on those corners and rest the neck here. You, you're gonna wanna stuff, see if you can see this or not. You're gonna wanna stuff some uh, rags or um, a soft block of some kind back here just to support this from sliding back. But then you can get the weight off of 
your neck bowing. So if you needed to do string, string adjustment, or well, if you're doing a neck adjustment, you don't want to have tension on the neck or any kind of pressure. But yeah, that's pretty sharp. I kind of like it. All right, I'll go grab the acoustic guitar and let's see what that looks like on here. All right, and here I have uh, my uh, Dreadnought acoustic guitar. So uh, one of the larger sized acoustic guitars. It's not the Jumbo, but it's the Dreadnought. And let's see, okay, yeah. All right, that's doable. I mean, hey, we're on the road, right? It looks like it'll rock a little bit like that. But I think if I was able to stuff some rags right back here while I'm working on these, I could stabilize it, enabling myself to do whatever I need to do or work on these guitars. Let's see here. So if that folds down, all right, yeah, so you, you definitely got to have that up. No doubt about that. To uh, stabilize it. I kind of like it. And then what's really nice is uh, when you're packed up, uh, this becomes a caddy for all your tools, which I am about to load up everything I need to take down. And I'm going to try to fit as much in this case as I can. So, awesome. Well, I think that's a winner. And you got this that closes here. And our handle. Really nice heavy duty. I didn't check to see if it had T-nuts on it. I'm hoping the handle has T-nuts in case this gets heavy. I'm thinking it doesn't have T-nuts on the handle. I don't feel any T-nuts underneath the carpet there, which is a washer in the back that uh, allows to have a lot of weight and uh, your screws won't come out of the wood. But, you know, hey, it's not the end of the world. I'm a very picky person, so when it comes to tools and things of that nature, so I look for that kind of stuff. But uh, all in all, a great product. I, uh, if you're traveling and you need to do any kinds of small setups, um, certainly you're not going to build a guitar on something like this. But um, for uh, simple setups, string changes on the road, this is going to be handy. I like it. Well, again, that was just a quick unboxing review. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, leave them down in the, uh, in the comments down below. And uh, certainly be glad to help you with ever, anything I can. And uh, again, I'll leave or, uh, links down in the description. Thanks for watching. Shop Field Music, folks. Please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, smash the bell. Or as I'm going to be calling it from now on, bell it, yo. All right, man. Cheers.